welcome back to Pure So today's video is a bit of an update. Um, so I just want to update you on my sample Saturday, the Dermatologica sunscreen. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below and don't forget to subscribe and change notifications to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so as you can see, I have no makeup or anything on my face. And the reason for this is I actually had an allergic reaction to the Dermalogica sunscreen that I tried on Saturday. So my sample Saturday that I did this week, it was one that I tried, recorded, edited and posted all in the same day. So it's not something that I had pre-recorded. Um, so I didn't have an allergic reaction until after I posted that video. Uh, so I just wanted to share with you guys what has happened and a quick update. Um, so by Saturday night, I was having quite itchy face and neck and chest. Um, and we went through all the products that I'd used and the only new product that I had tried that was on my face, my neck and my chest was the sunscreen. So I do know I have very sensitive skin and sunscreen is one area I haven't really ever been able to figure out a sunscreen that really works for me properly. Um, I do have allergic reactions to a lot of sunscreens. Um, I actually haven't found one that I haven't had an allergic reaction to yet. So unfortunately this one now joins the list. Um, and then just this just proves that I need to go to a dermatologist and figure out what ingredient or ingredients that I'm allergic to so then I can find something I can use as a sunscreen. Because I don't have anything I can use as a sunscreen, I try to stay out of the sun quite a bit, um, which then affects my vitamin D. So yeah, it's a bit of a hard ball there. So basically, um, I still have the reaction. I'm still dealing with it now. Uh, today is Tuesday. I'm filming this, editing and updating the same day again because um, I don't have any pre-recorded videos left at this stage. So I wanted to quickly update you guys on what's happening and why I don't have a makeup video up to So basically on Saturday night when I took off my makeup because it was, I was so itchy, I took my makeup off and I had a rash around here and coming down onto my chest. Um, it got a little bit better and then it got worse again. I tried using some makeup yesterday. Um, it just flared it up, so it was not a good idea. That came off within like two hours. Um, and underneath it had flared it up again. So obviously I shouldn't have put anything on there. Um, so it is still around. You can kind of see a little bit of redness there. Um, but it's not as bad as what it was, thankfully. So I've just been using some antihistamines, um, some soothing cream for like eczema. Um, and then I've just been using some heat packs for the swelling and the redness to help it go down. Um, so I can feel it more than what I can see it now. Um, there's, it's just lots of tiny little lumps um, and they they sting and they itch. So I've got to make sure that I'm not itching it because then otherwise that just makes it worse. Um, so yeah, that's unfortunately a reaction that I had to the sunscreen. Um, it was thankfully not an aggressive reaction. Um, so when I use a sunscreen and I haven't been out in the sun, something like this will happen. I'll get a rash or something. Um, but had I been out in the sun and wearing this sunscreen, it would have been a completely different story. Um, when I have allergic reactions to sunscreen out in the sun, I actually burn a lot worse than if I wasn't wearing sunscreen. Um, and it's not just like a sunburn, it's a blister welt sunburn. Um, so unfortunately, this is something I've dealt with my whole childhood and everything. Uh, when I was a child, like a young child, my mum did take me to a dermatologist and we were able to find something that did work. 
Unfortunately, I don't remember what it was um, or if it's even still on the market. Um, so I have asked family members, nobody can really remember. So I really do need to go back to the dermatologist and find out what I'm allergic to in sunscreens. So then I can find a sunscreen that I can use on my skin. So then I can go out in the sun and be okay. Or I can put SPF on before my makeup and not have to stress about having a massive reaction from it. So unfortunately, I'm disappointed about this. I was really hoping that it would be a sunscreen that I would be able to use. Uh, all the other Dermalogica products I've had no reaction to. So I was hoping this would be the same. Um, but sunscreen is something completely different to my sensitive skin. So I have worse reaction with sunscreen than what I do with like moisturizers. So I should have taken that into, an account, into account and not tried the sunscreen, knowing that I have a massive reaction to sunscreens. So yeah, that's just a little bit of an update on that product. Um, if you are like me and you have reactions to sunscreens, I would highly suggest you get checked by a dermatologist first um, and make sure what you're allergic to, what you're not, and so then you can find a sunscreen that would work for you. Um, but if you don't have an issue with a lot of sunscreens, I think that would be a perfect sunscreen. It's really great for sensitive skin. Um, so yeah, I'm not saying bad things about the product at all. It's my skin, I am allergic to something in it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna place an order and order the sunscreen. Um, and I will be going to a dermatologist to find out what I'm allergic to. So I will update you guys when I do that. Um, I'm gonna just wait a little bit longer. It's winter here, so not much sun out there anyway. Um, and also with everything in the world at the moment going on, it's not like as though we're going out too much. Like we're going out, but we're not going out, out. <laughs> um, so I will just wait until things get back to a little bit of normalcy, um, especially like going to a doctor surgery or something is more high risk and I am high risk. So yeah, I will update you when I do that. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm really disappointed that the product didn't work for me. Uh, if it does work for you, leave a positive comment down below so everyone can see that it's just me and not everyone. <laughs> so yeah, I will chat to you guys later. And as always, thanks for watching guys.